Good morning. Today is, what is today? August 4th. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed morning. I am, I am. And this video will probably be uploaded later, so you'll probably watch it by afternoon or whatever. But, um, but I always record in the morning. So last night, so this morning was just beautiful. Um, you know, I followed God's advice, right? I followed God's advice and I'm so blessed. Uh, one of my little neighbors was able to do some of my Bible study with me. So I'm like, yes, okay. He's like, well, I'm not changing. I'm like, it's okay as long as you listen to some word, right? Just as long as you listen to some word. And um, so we were doing, and the sun's coming out too. Like, it's so good. So, so good. And look at this background. Like, I'm just, I'm wobbly though. Care Bear, get over here. Um, Care Bear's here too. So, come on. I don't know, he's in the woods somewhere. There's like woods over there. I hear him though. He barked at something, so. Um, and the sun is coming out, so then I said that, so good. So, I think he found a friend. Oh, there's a dog, oh, it's Kruger. Let me pause for a moment. We're walking. <laughs> So that was Kruger and his owner. Um, and look, the sun is just shining like right on me. It's like so good, so good, right? So we are on Psalms, um, what are we on? Psalms 92 or Psalms 93? I think we're on Psalms 93, right? Psalms 93, that's what I, I think. I don't know, I got distracted, so. <laughs> Okay, let's get to it, right? Let's get to this Bible studies. Okay, Psalms 93. And that's what we're on. Um, it says, The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in, ma robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. The Yeah, the world stands firm. So, God... First of all, God is so good, right? God is so good because look at this. this. This is just this beautiful. The sun is directly shining through the trees on me. Do you see it? See that? It's so beautiful. And, you know, I'm grateful because I had a family reunion yesterday. And it was just so beautiful. Um, it was very beautiful to have this time with, you know, family members. I didn't even know. I haven't even seen, you know what I mean, in years. Uh, Uncle Jake was just great. Uncle Drake, Jake was like, um, he gave me my first motorcycle ride, you know, ever when I was a little kid, like baby, you know what I mean? Like maybe like three, five years old or something like that. And, uh, you know, it's like he's still alive, right? And it's so grateful to see that and, you know, to just witness what God can do, right? What God can do. And... A lot of times in our lives, you know, we have family members that are not saved. They're not, um, you know, walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, right? It's, you know, it's sad. It's sad because there's a lot of people in the world that don't have Jesus, you know? And, you know, and then here you come and you're like the outsider. You know what I mean? Because you have Jesus. You have, you know, you, you have that light in you. And everybody's like, well, why are you so happy? Why are you so this? Why are you so that? It's because I have the Holy Spirit living me. Hello? Like, that's the reason why. And um, people don't understand it. They just don't. They don't understand that when you got the Holy Spirit living in you, you are set free. You are set free. Like, you, you know. And, you know, it's, it's that relationship with God. You have to have a relationship with God. Not just go to church on Sunday. Not just like, oh, I'm going to read like one verse in the Bible. Yeah, reading your Bible is good, but you have to have a relationship where you invite God into every situation. I'm like, that's what I do. I invite God into like every situation. It's like, God, what do I do about this? What do I do about that, right? Because you need to. You need to invite God into every situation. Okay. Number two, your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial immemorial immoral Im immemorial I can't say that word I can't say aluminum either but anyways you you yourself are an everlasting past 
The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But, number four, but mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breakers on the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. This psalm is just reiterating everything that we know about God, right? What do we know about God? He's mightier than this. He's mightier than that. He made this. Look at this, right? He made it. He made the sun just shine perfectly on my face right there. It's just like, mm. it's so, so beautiful, you know, and he made it. And he is so, so, so great. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is forever and ever is holy forever and ever god god is so good it's just so just so grateful i'm just so grateful for you know this time with my mom i'm so grateful that um you know i wake up and i have this and it's it's just so beautiful, you know. I'm so so grateful. My neighbor is with his dog on the on the lake. You want to see? I'll show you. I got lots of time because it was a short video. So hold on. So this is what I'm watching. So this is the there's my floaty right there. So this is where I am at. So beautiful, so beautiful here. Um, I'm just I'm really grateful that God is in my life, that God has changed me and saved me, and I'm just really grateful. So it is a beautiful day. Hold on. I'm like, now it's crooked. <laughs> But, yeah, God has blessed me abundantly. And my mom's surgery is in a couple of days here on Tuesday. So, mm, you know, just peace. Peace over everything, right? Because God is a miracle worker. And God can change anything and everything and just, you know, fix anything, right? Because that's how God works. And anyway, so. I love you so much. I want you to have a blessed and wonderful day today. I love you. Have a blessed day.